McCain just committed career suicide after what he just did to President Donald Trump. So good old Senator John Juan McCain from the great state of Arizona is at it again. In an unbelievable move, this has been, never was, actually said the country was on better footing while former President Barack Hussein Obama was president. Not under his fellow Republican that is President Donald Trump. That stupid John McClain was reacting to this tweet by the president. Say Donald J. Trump in Twitter pathetic excuse by London Mayor Sadiq Khan who had to think fast on his no reason to be alarmed statement. MSM is working hard to sell it. Hey, McClain, it's about time you received a wake-up call. The truth is Juan McCain took part in as many as 38 anti-American propaganda radio broadcasts for Radio Hanoi during the five years of his captivity. This comes into direct conflict with the image of a patriotic American hero spending time in North Vietnamese prisoners' hotbox for five and a half years. McCain was often given special treatment by his captors, who were fully aware of his father's and grandfather's. According to his fellow POWs, John McClain was often given preferential treatment by his captors, most of who were very aware of his father's and grandfather's four-star admiral rank in the U.S. Navy. But more interestingly enough not even one his fellow captors ever witnessed McCain's torture at the hands of his jailers. In fact, the other POWs in McCain's camp testify that McCain was not tortured or ever mistreated by the North Vietnamese. In addition, the way both McCain and John Kerry acted during the 1991-93 Senate committee hearings on POW-MIAs leaves no doubt that both are indeed traitors to this country and their fellow POWs especially to the families of POWs and men who were missing in action. The Burning Platform reports, McCain the hero nearly sunk an aircraft carrier and killed 134 sailors McCain, when a lieutenant commander in the U.S. Navy was a Navy pilot, they call themselves aviators. July 29, 1967 While on the deck and in his plane on the carrier USS Forrestal he managed to screw up procedures officially denied and covered up by him in the Navy and also even promoted on Wikipedia if you care to look, reason to follow. He did a smart-ass punk attention getting tricked by doing a wet startup of his jet. When a pilot wants to be a wise-ass or show-off, this type of engine start creates a large startling flame and lots of surprise noise from the rear of a jet engine on startup, this was no accident. This and the large subsequent electrical surge in apparent, incorrect and against policy, weapon arming by the pilot, caused the launching of a powerful Zuni rocket across the carrier's deck hitting other parked planes, photo below, that were packing 1,000 high-explosive pound bombs. The subsequent massive explosions, fire, and destruction when several decks below and nearly sunk this major 82,000-ton U.S. aircraft carrier. This stunt and aftermath caused the death of 134 sailors and seriously injure, blow off arms legs caused blindness and burns to another 161 sailors, and took the ship off the battle line for extensive repairs. Any other Navy pilot causing this type of death and destruction the Navy would have raped him and he would probably still be in the brig. Why not McCain? Well, first with many powerful connections this little infraction was covered up by the Navy, our most politically involved slash connected service by the way. You see his grandfather was a famous four-star Navy admiral and his dad was at the time of the incident was a powerful Navy four-star admiral and McCain graduated from the Navy Academy. So the old boy Navy tradition cover his S network went into high gear immediately, and make no mistake, it does exist and it did for him. This whole narrative that has been described by multiple of the POWs imprisoned along with McLean prove he has treasonous blood running through his veins. He has betrayed our country, our soldiers, and even his own political party multiple times. He doesn't care about our culture. He only cares about making friend with far-left liberals such as Ted Kennedy when they both tried to pass amnesty and Russ Feingold with campaign reform which turned our political campaign donation system into a high-tech money laundering scheme. Go home McLean, you have done enough damage already. Please share if you think Senator John McCain needs to retire. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.